Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lost Phoenix Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides, and tunes for Forza Horizon. It's spring season, and we've got GT Phone Home. Street scene events for the Alien Morph Suit. Derwent Valley Dash, Rail Yard Express, and Holyrood Run. That's what you got. You want it on highly skilled. All the other stuff's pretty much optional, but I'm going to leave traction on stability off. And Kira says her stuff here. We can have a look and see which car I'm going to go for for this one. I'm going to go for the Aston Martin DB11 Tourist Trap Tune. It's very good. And it is available very cheaply on the Auto Show. So that's the car. This is the sheer code for this tune. And this will definitely give you a fighting chance at getting this completed and getting your alien morph suit plus your seasonal percentages. Let's get loaded in and we're at Derwent Valley Dash first off. So let's make a start now. We're on to the line and off. Go, go, go. Seventh place. Let's try and do a cut down the middle. Yes, awesome pass. Sling shot. Awesome pass. Tread my needle. Oh, I should have got Fred Needle for that one. Need to be a little bit more careful on these corners because these guys are glued to the driver line. And I am not. Oh, okay, I've gone totally wide there. Okay, down to sixth again. Yeah, it's not a good start, is it? It really isn't. But the thing is, I'm crap on corners, but I know when I get to a bit of a straight, I can actually pass some of these lots. And I'm building up my speed now. Oh, got to be very careful of that. There's a lot of corners here. You can quite easily go off into a forest. I am not good at street racing. Oh, it's been a bit of a pile up, a bit of a smack there. And I've used the opportunity to get myself into third place. Because the AIs, they will stick to their driver lines. And that does mean that when you've got non-player cars driving around, they are quite likely to smack into them because they don't like coming off their lines. I'm closing on these lot, being careful on these corners, little nudge on, on number two. Okay, you're being a bit dodgy trying to push me. Okay, fair enough, and you've gone into the lake. <laughs> Unfortunately, I went into a bridge. Let's have another go. Oh, non-player cars, they annoy the crap out of me. I really wish they were just not in these events. You guarantee wherever you want to go, that's where they'll be. Bit of a battle there, but I've cut past you. You haven't gone to the lake this time. And passed you on that one, so first place at 54%, 55%. So let's keep going round here. And yeah, these street scenes are a pain. I'm not a fan of them, I'm not, because I find the AIs are really overpowered. And a lot of the time you're racing around... And these corners are an absolute nightmare. Although maybe that's just because I can't take corners for crap on this game. But I'm in first place. This Aston Martin is a very respectable car. And I do like it. It's one, one of my favourite cars in the game. It's just really fun to drive. And I will use it whenever I can on championships. I'm getting a bit of distance going. Now I've got something resembling a straight. I'm actually getting a bit of speed up. Although these corners definitely need to be carefully taken and the finish lines up here and yeah i've absolutely flown away from those once i get past all those little corners and stop weaving around them and get a few seconds gap which is pretty decent and that gets me 20 points lost things winner skip for all that one and we can go in and see what event i'm going to next as part of this championship so into the map, and we're looking for the little white ones. Rail Yard Express, yeah, why not? I'll go for that. And you get 20 points for each win on this. And the idea is to get first place on the championship after three events. So at the minimum, two wins and a second place is what you need. It gives you 56 points and nobody can beat you. But naturally, you want to be going for a win on everything if you can. Okay, I'm going to knock traction off as well on that one. 
because I think it might handle a little bit better. So let's start this and we can go, 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 seventh. Can I do a cheeky cut down the middle? That's pretty much what I do first off if I can into fifth. I've got fourth, got third. A little bit of battle with these and oh, you're sending me off into the, you know, onto the grass and everything, which is not good. But I've managed to maintain third. Bit of a tight corner coming around here. Oh, you're trying to cut me up and you have, you've managed it because you're on your lines and I'm not. Got into third place, but I do know once I get onto a straight, I can catch up with these lot without any problems because this is where my strength is. My strength is not corners. There you go, second place. Catching up with you, slammed down the brakes really hard. You're trying to nudge me, but I'm blocking you. And I've got first. 38% and I'm in first place. That's all right, it's not too bad. Let's just go around and let's try and not completely mess it up on the corners, which I completely did there. Absolute nightmare. However, I managed to pull it back and they haven't passed me. Bit careful on this one. That's not too bad. A little bit of breaking there, cut the corner a little bit. As long as I go through the smoke, I'm all right, it'll count. Go around there, this is a bit tricky. Up round this part, round, yeah, these, these are really weavy, these corners, I'll tell you, these are really weavy. But I've managed to keep myself into first, and I've already got one first place, which means if I get a first place on this one, the pressure's off me for the next event. So if I only get a second on that, it's not the end of the world. Oh, narrowly missing that. These AI cars, these non-player cars, are absolute nightmare. They're some of the worst drivers on the road. I've actually sat and watched some of them. They just get into these really stupid crashes. And there's this one video I actually saw on YouTube recently. I think it's from Lamb Source Gaming. It was actually just this one car going round and round one of the islands. In Edinburgh for an hour. It was like, oh, that was mad. That was absolutely crazy stuff. But yeah, I've got a first place on that one. So that's another 20 points, which definitely puts me in a good position. 40 in total. So skip through all of this. Leveled up on that. Got a wheel spin. Whatever's. And into the game. One more event. This is a third one. This is a final event. And let's see where we're off to. Looking for the little white ones. Holyrood Run. That isn't too bad. That's up in Scotland. Little blast out of the city centre. For Holyrood Run. Skip all this. DB11. Do little dances. Little jittering on the loading screen as usual. And we're here. Holyrood Run for GT Phone Home. The puns are not getting any better on this game, are they? They really aren't. But on the line, and we're off. Go, go, go. Can I do a cut down the middle? No, you're blocking me a bit, being a bit dodgy. But I've cut you up on that side. Got myself into fifth. And I know that once I manage to get a bit of a straight, I'll be able to get on top of this lot. But at the moment, it's all a bit windy when we're messing about in Edinburgh. Okay, I've got a bit of a straight there. Let's see what I can do here. Although there is a bit of a tight corner, this corner here, so I might not be able to pass them. Get round. Ah, clip the building. <laughs> this is why I don't like driving around Edinburgh, you know. I have actually been to Edinburgh. I can actually see why people in general don't like driving around Edinburgh. <laughs> Total. Oh, that was a disaster. Yeah, I haven't actually been to Edinburgh. Lovely city. Really lovely part of the world. But I can totally understand why people don't like driving around Edinburgh. There's a crazy traffic system up there. But I've got myself into second place. I've got this Muppet here. And am I going to get into first? I reckon I can. But even if I couldn't, because I've got first on the other events, I'm carrying enough points to be able to take second on this and still win the championship. That's a bit of a dodgy corner. Can't avoid the taxi. Yeah, taxis in Edinburgh. Apparently, yeah, taxi Edinburgh can basically drive anywhere they want, in any direction, because they've got all these little lanes up and everything. And then you've got the road for normal drivers with really bad road signs, 
Oh, well, I missed the checkpoint, right. Yeah, and they've got really bad road signs. No speed limits posted, but plenty of speed cameras. So you have to pretty much try and guess what the speed limit is. And if the camera goes off, you know you got it wrong. But it's, yeah, it's a bit of a mad one up in Edinburgh, but it's a really lovely place to go to. When the sun's out and you just have to walk around all the heritage sites around there. Pretty nice tours going on. But first place on this one as well. So weavy weavy round this way. It breaks down. Take that corner and the finish line's all the way up here now. So bing done. Free for free. 20 points more. So that's 60 in total. So that's got that completed. And that gets me the completion. And it also gets me some other completion. But ultimately, it gets me an alien morph suit. Yeah, why not? It's a bit odd. A few credits, a few rewards, but you get seasonal completion percentages, which all count. So that is that. That's that championship. It's pretty straightforward. This Aston will do a good job on it. So if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button, leave me a comment. And if you're interested in my other championship videos, I'll go up in the corner now to give them a click, have a look. And until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy and happy driving.